Hi, I'm Dennis Iveljic, and I'm from Houston, Texas. I got here at the end of May, and I'm staying until the end of August. I always wanted to come out here. Doing it at home was fun and all, but like nothing beats training here. You know, just being around guys here every day, um, whether it's my roommates or guys I'm training with, you know, we're all training against each other, but at the same time with each other. So what do you got going on today? Uh, so today, uh, got a hybrid B day going on, uh, which is about roughly 70 to 80% intent wise throwing. And then uh, shortly after that, we'll have a lift. Um, and then we'll recover for a little bit and then, you know, call it a day. So today, right now, we're just starting off with some foam rolling. Um, this, this is what I do on a typical day. Training with other guys, especially collegiate guys and some pro guys here, you know. I mean, it's awesome, you know, you, uh, you pick their brain, you see how they're doing and what they're doing. And, you know, like I said earlier, we're all competing for the same thing, but at the same time, it's, it's very motivating. So, you know, we push one another, um, you know, and you just want to see the other guys succeed, you know. From the moment I got here, I noticed that guys that were trying to get to the next level, those guys worked extremely hard. And what I thought when I was working hard, you know, that blew it out the water. That's one thing that I noticed and picked up on and I, and I realized if I wanted to do anything with baseball in my future, I needed to work that much harder, if not harder than all these guys here. Uh, trainers on hand like the driveline news is great and all but if they couldn't answer a question I had about my mechanics right there and then like they could now if when I'm here that's all I got for you I, I would say like the biggest misconception driveline may get is that they all care about velocity it's not so much an emphasis on velocity but more so like arm health. So I just threw. Um, now I'm gonna go through my recovery circuit which is which consists of uh, rebounders, some band pull aparts, some waiter walks, um, more shoulder tubing and a little bit of uh, band. At home, you know, and I don't know about other guys but for me at least you have distractions. So coming here, I knew that if I gave myself three months, I'd have nothing to do other than just baseball. So now we're at the lifting portion part of my day, and uh, I'm gonna do some BBT and some accessory work. You know, those guys you see on Instagram and YouTube and whatever you may see, yeah, those guys throw hard and they might have gained, you know, X amount of velo. However, what you probably don't see is the work they put in day in and day out. Um, and that's truly what I saw the moment I got here. coming here I knew that I had absolutely no guarantees of playing professional ball let alone throwing harder you know it was you know it 
comes with the territory. And going forward, you know, whether I play baseball or not, anything I do in life now, I can be fully confident in it. Because if I treat it the way I've been treating this, I know I'll be successful in just about anything I do. Why I came out here in the first place, when I look back, I want to be able to say that I gave it my all. I've spent every dollar I've had, gave my blood, sweat, and tears just to try to pursue a career in baseball. And you know, some might say that's crazy, you know, that's, you know, impossible, but you know what? At the end of the day, I can go to sleep happy and knowing that I gave it my everything.